Don't ever do that again. You don't like that? that the Mad Dog? Like the, like no, the dog? I didn't like that. That was like the Dumb and Dumber want to hear the most annoying song in the world. Uh, all right, all right. Bang and Mad Dog, White Sox Day. You don't I like that? Him. I can't stand that. I know you Say him. Bang Bang. That's not right. You say it for me. Bang Bang. All right, Bang Bang. Thank you. Welcome to Mid Show. Uh, the beer sponsor of the Mid Show is Miller Lite. The big draft is coming up, okay? So uh, what are the Bears going to do with the number one pick? Who knows? I know. I know. Who knows? I know. Who knows? Uh, been some wild selections over the years, but there's one selection every football fan can share, and that's an ice cold Miller Lite. The draft has uh, changed over the years, but Miller Lite is still the perfect beer for the draft. Uh, Miller Lite knows that beer lovers want their light beer to taste like beer. That's why they brew a light beer that's light on calories, not on taste. Because what's the point of having a beer if you can't taste it? Gotta taste it. Yes, I had some tasty Millers over the weekend, guys. In Dayton. At Dayton, yeah. <clears throat> Enjoyed some tasty Millers there. It was nice. Uh, so, yeah, till kickoff comes around, enjoy the beer that tastes like the season. Miller Lite, great taste, 96 calories. Get Miller Lite delivered right to your door. Visit MillerLite.com slash midshow. Or you can pick up some Miller Lite pretty much anywhere that they sell beer. It's Miller time. Celebrate responsibly. Miller Brewing Company in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, 96 calories and 3.2 carbs per 12 ounces. All right, welcome to the show. Dave, it's great to be in your presence uh, it has to, been a minute. Yeah, a lot to get to today. Yeah, I, I haven't even realized that. You haven't been yeah, here. Yeah, we weren't. I wasn't here last week. Yeah, he was gone. Down in Texas. Yeah, I forgot about that. Dirty days. Missed you. 
What's uh why why what's going on with this phone call thing? I, it's on the sheet here. With the, the there's some guy said his girlfriend was with you or something like that. I don't know why that no. That, um, tweet's getting like a decent amount of attention for being a random person. I don't understand it. So Jay talking? Grad Jimmy is a guy that I think I have met. He's probably listening to the show. I think I've met him in person a few times. Sox fan, Purdue fan. He was the Purdue Viceroy. I've talked to him on Twitter through. For, Just one like, of the guys you gave my number to? I don't think so. <laughs> okay. But uh, was he, he wasn't on the wrestling team? No. Okay. He wasn't. All right. No. All right. Um, thank you for throwing me off my train of thought, though. But <laughs> Asshole. I was at Joe's on Weed for the Illinois game. Uh, it was at Saturday. And yep. his fiance was like, hey, Dave, my husband's a big fan. Can you can you call him from my phone? I said, yeah, sure. So I was like, oh, what's up, man? And that was literally it. And someone else took a picture? And- it was her friend at the table took the picture. Okay. I figured it was yeah. be something exactly like that. I don't. I didn't understand why that tweet blew up. At <laughs> I don't know either. Yeah. yeah. Well, that was the story it. story we're going with. People thought That's were- exactly what happened. I, I talked to him for like 30 seconds as I was leaving after the Illinois game, and I Someone said that him. you said, hey, your wife's going to be a little late tonight. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what I said. Hey. Yeah, she ain't gonna be home for a while. <laughs> don't don't wait up, buddy. Yeah, she ain't answering. Uh, what else is going on? We were just had a spirited debate about the news that McDonald's is gonna be carrying Krispy Kremes the year twenty twenty six. You said well, what did you say about Krispy Kremes? I it was the first time a, a <clears throat> major chain came to my area in St. Charles where people freaked the fuck out where there was a mm-hmm. line like it was like you're going to be in this drive through line for like an hour and a half. Yeah, it was. Donut. I remember that too. It was not my home. It was a crate. Style, but it was lines fucking down the street. Yeah. Down the street. What chief what were you like? A 20, glazed donut. 28 the first time you had a Krispy Kreme? No. I think I had one in high school. I waited for the lines to oh, die really? down. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And uh, and tried it fine so fine donut i was 12 when this happened so middle school and we were fundraising to go to cooperstown for my uh baseball team and we had this their cards where you would punch them out when you would check out at Krispy cream it was buy a dozen get a dozen free and you got 12 of those and it was a 20 dollar card mm-hmm. so we would sit at a Krispy cream like in the parking lot 12 like 12 kids and we would hustle selling these cards and we ate probably 90 percent of our profit <laughs> <laughs> ninety, probably ninety percent of our profit. I don't want to throw you off your train of thought um, again already, but what's going on with your headphones there? What's the point of having them up like that? There is none. Okay, no all right. <laughs> I didn't. I don't like our our entry music. It gets stuck in my head, and it it like if I'm in Guantanamo but ever like just play that forever, and I'll go insane and give all my secrets away. Do, 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 do. Yeah, you look like the uh, the guy from Little Nicky. He's got the tits on his. I like that guy. <laughs> yeah. Then he like switches it up and he puts the tassels on him here and there. Yeah, yeah. He's got the bra on his. See, head. I saw that the- that movie in in theaters when it came out. I don't know if I've seen it since, but I remember like laughing myself to the point I was pissing. I it didn't at that movie, yeah. and it apparently is one of his worst movies. I think that that was the movie where it's like, all right, Adam Sandler's run is over. He's so yeah. That was after Big Daddy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but it was right before, around there. Yeah, like, it was I don't right know. around that. I, I think Mr. Deeds is kind of fringe. I like I like Deeds. I though. think it's fine. It's, I think it's solid. Yeah. I like Deeds. But yeah, like people would say Deeds was a bounce back. People okay. would argue. People would argue. People would argue. Deeds yeah. is better than that, right? But back I, on your train of thought, or the Zoltan one too. Who? That, no, that, that was a bomb. bomb. That's that what I'm saying. Bomb. That, that was, was in the same category as Little Nicky in my head. No, Little Nicky was more iconic than Who, who Don't Mess with the Zohan. Oh, Zohan. I thought you meant Zoltan. Like, dude, where's my car? He's not even in that. I know. That's what I correct. <clears throat> I'm like, no, that was actually. Yeah, he's not in that. Yeah. At all. I never saw Zohan. Neither did I. I, I actually want to sit down and watch every single movie he's in. His maybe, la- maybe we have a movie day when Dave's apartment's done. Yeah. Two weeks ago. What will we watch? Which one would you pick? Well, What's a I, Sandler movie you haven't seen that you'd like to see? Have you seen the basketball movie? This I haven't. Movie? Yeah. It's fucking fantastic i actually haven't finished uncut gems either uncut gems is good. really this yeah. this movie i i threw it on is just like i'm gonna fall asleep in two minutes i watched the whole thing i don't what's the name of it scout 
Oh, something like that. They're uh, up there. Coach or the... The Adam Sandler movie? Yeah. yeah. Hustle? Hustle. 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 The Scout. It that's was, got Brennan Fraser. That, that's picture. Brennan Fraser, yeah. The, the New York Yankees. Hustle was one of the best movies I've seen the last few years. Okay. It was, oh, come like, on. on a that's good movie crazy. Level. I don't see a lot of movies, Ed. You know that. We Speaking talk about that regularly. Rich, and Minari. Have you seen that? I'm sorry? Did you see Minari? More of a question for Ed since you don't see movies. No. Highly recommend. Really? Minari. I don't even know what that is. It's on Netflix right now. Have you ever heard the term jukebox musical? Nope. Mm-mm. Apparently, they're saying Joker Two is going to be a jukebox musical. What does that mean? People are. Fr- I don't know. That's what I'm trying to figure out. People are like. Is Greece a juke- jukebox musical? I don't know. I don't know what it means. I would imagine it's like not original songs. Yeah, that's what I. <coughs> so not right like songs that, that come straight from the movie. A jukebox musical is a stage musical or musical film in which a majority of the songs are well-known, popular music songs rather than original music. Oh, so it's the opposite of what you said, Daniel. No, I so, think that is what he said. Say that again. You said they're not well-known. No, I'm saying it's like un, like usually a musical from a movie is songs that the movie is making, new songs. Yeah. Like Jukebox, I would assume. Like, like Grease. Just, like those are all well, I think yeah. those were original, right? right. Yeah, those yeah. were right. Yeah. So, yeah. Mamma Mia, which is all ABBA music, mm-hmm. that would be gimme, a juke- gimme, like a that. man after yeah. midnight. Yeah, yeah, that would be a yeah. There you go, Jersey Boys, another one. Oh, I kind of like that. Then depends on what those songs are, though. Yeah, I'll like, see that in theaters with you. I'm not even kidding. That's you I'm haven't been it, since eighty for How are they going to incorporate uh, like a? A horror, whatever you want to call a movie, not horror, but a film noir. It's, you know, it's I weird. feel like a jukebox musical is its own genre, but then they're adding it to Joker. I don't know, man. But aren't they doing? Isn't Wicked a musical that is coming out as well? Yeah, like Wait. as a movie. Yeah. What about it? But that's its whole thing. It's Let's a move music. on. Yeah, I, I was like, what? I had what does that have to do? I had a brain. I had a brain thing. One of his. I had, he's, I had he's like his a brain thing. I had a stroke for a second. <laughs> Lance, can you describe to him the stroke he had yesterday morning when we were trying to do ad reads? It, it was a bad brain day, you know. It was just it was it was, I, it was a rough start. You, how many you know? bad brain days in takes. a row do you have to have when until it becomes just like that's your brain? You just have a bad brain. I think that's a fair question, is it, Danny? Yeah, it is. Yeah, I don't think my brain's great. If I really sit and focus, I can get a lot out of that brain, but it. Sometimes it just it takes a it's like an old car. It takes you gotta warm it up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I got you there. Yeah. I got you there. That's fair. Yeah. To um, circle on back mm. since you fucked with his train of thought and you fucked with my train of thought, you said something about <laughs> crispy brain cream, is contra- contagious. Krispy Kreme donuts. Yeah. Uh how many calories do you think they are? I, I said eight hundred off the top of my head. I don't think I, I'll stick with that. A standard nah. glazed. Well, no, donut. that's that's for one for one. one? Donut? That's crazy. I don't know. Jeez, I don't know. I don't even this is. I have the answer. All right. I'm gonna say like four twenty. I'm gonna say two hundred. No more than that. Danny, one ninety. Let's go. Ninety. Yeah. There we had a dozen question a few weeks ago where it was like guess the calories of a it was like a Mountain Dew Baja the freezy, blast yeah, freezy. The freezy and I was like. I think I said like seven hundred. Like, the protein uh, shake. It was one ninety. Yeah, yeah like I have no idea. No wonder you're afraid. Of he had one a couple fucking weeks wildly ago off. Where it was how many final how many uh, teams have gone to the final four since 2010? So obviously the if you do the math, it's fourteen times ten. Oh, but I there's going to be I did the math wrong. Who, he, he can't let this go. It's I don't like think the third he time he brought it up. You were off by you were like twenty over it, the potential I, number. I misheard. I didn't. It wasn't written out on the screen for us. If it was written out, I would have had an easier time. Sorry, I'm a visual mm-hmm. learner, Dave. No, that's fine. Yeah. I am too. That's part of the reason I don't do trivia. It's just like you have. You're so susceptible to looking like a dumbass. Oh yeah. Oh, the so, or you're susceptible emotional. to looking like a fucking genius. No, because no one's ever really like, oh, he's a genius. They only focus yeah. on the negatives. A hundred percent. I mean this this whole job. <laughs> oh yes. yeah, it's only the negatives. Yeah, yeah, you're just, only the negatives. It's just a, uh, it's just your your bait for being a dumbass. Yeah, yeah, they'll literally make like a highlight reel for you from this job, and it's just all your like lowest. Yes, points. like this <laughs> microphone. All it is is a fishing pole and a reel and live bait. I, I, I believe just catch me in to say something dumb as fuck. Yeah. This guy over to my right saying that oh it's just like a highlight reel. Like you literally made one of all my quote unquote worst picks. 
But it was the highlight reel of worst picks, so it wasn't the highlight reel of Chief. But it was it was which, highlighting your worst were, moments. But those weren't bad moments. Those are good moments. History would disagree. Yes. Do you still have the lanyard? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't. I have some probably at my house. Yeah, but like, I was trying to think of something. That's, I don't like souvenirs. Like, you know how like ravers will keep their bracelets from music fest. That's what Chief does with lanyards yeah. from like yeah. conference conventions. <laughs> I've got. Yeah, a I have one from the auto show. I've got a couple lanyards I saved. Yeah, like, I saved save all my media yeah. credential lanyards. I don't. I I have like they're like stuck in. I have. A, I think everybody probably has a drunk a junk yeah, drawer I, somewhere. Yeah, I think I, I have a few in there. there. Yeah. yeah. What's that mean? Dave did a podcast about Dave's junk drawer. Remember that? <laughs> He did, was, well, like back in 2019. Yeah, 2019. When Is I'm that where you a, found the book? We said a full podcast. Yeah, what's in my drawer. what's in my junk drawer? <laughs> <laughs> Amongst other, it was riveting. Yeah. We should pull that back up and see if it's still in there. House oh, man, house. that was a long time ago. That was, had to be 2019, right? Oh yeah, it was yeah, like a thousand yeah. percent. Yeah. Thousand. Oh, definitely, because I was living I was living on Augusta still. I think. Yep. That's. We got to pull. We should pull up that Krebs video. I'd love to revisit that. Ah, it might have gotten lost. I feel like there was think a so? second dev nest. You could try to find it. Because yeah. it was not, we didn't have a YouTube then. Yeah, it's it true. Just yeah. got uploaded to, to the, the site. HK, you'd have to Google it. It wouldn't be on the YouTube. If we Google find like it, White we Sox should Dave strip it and post it again. Yeah. Yeah. Be nice. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know how to exactly phrase this, but because of the pandemic, do you think there'll ever be another era in history where 2019 seems as far away so being what five years as it does now from 2024 like 2030 like 2029 will never seem as far away that was 2020 was the easiest breaking point in time like ever i feel like yeah 20 i mean 2019 just saying pre-pandemic it's like b same bc you know yeah Yeah. it is it is yeah that's what it is. It's like the pandemic and the birth of Christ. I w- <laughs> <laughs> like the two cleanest breaks in history. Shout out, shout out Jesus ahead of his big day this weekend coming back from the dead. And shout out to ChevyDriveChicago.com. The auto show may be over, but the best deals at your local Chevy dealer are still going. If it's time for a new car, your local Chevy dealer has something for you. Oh, Bob Roar. Yeah, well, I don't know if that was, that was Eagle Man, actually. Oh, yeah, really? My bad. Keep it's all right. Go Scott, on. I've got something for you. The new Equinox, Trax, Blazer, and SUVs. You'll want to test drive and drive often, giving away everything from style to comfort, safety. Plenty of room. There is a Chevy SUV for you. Uh, Chief got the Blazer. Yep. It's gray. I don't know if this is a feature or if it's like a magic trick of my Blazer, but I haven't. I didn't take my hockey bag out since the game on Sunday or Saturday, whenever Gross. that was. No smells. Wow. No smells. Uh, it's like it's in a fight with the new car smell, and the new car smell is winning. Good. Yeah. No, I drove uh, one of our co-workers to work today, Maggie in sales. She didn't say a word. Wow. Yeah. Hmm. Head to ChevyDriveChicago.com to learn more about these cars and find your local Chevy dealer today. Eddie wants to take the Blazers to a road trip to Dayton. Are you in? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Why Dayton? That was Thursday. I know. Why Why? Again, though, it's a lovely school. He's I've lo- heard it's a lot of fun. What is it, the, the ghetto? Yeah, which I yeah. thought was an actual uh, like neighborhood that was a rougher area, no, naturally. But that's actually the name of like what they call like they're the like quad, like their guy, uh, like the house. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But I was so confused. For first. some reason, I don't know if it was just like my graduating hall or my area, but I had a lot of friends that went to Dayton. I knew right. a lot of people that went there. It's a big Chicago suburb school. Yeah. Why is I, it I though? Too. Why Dayton? Uh-huh. It's just random. It's like Dayton. I give Miami, a Ohio. Full, it's like far enough away, but not so, too yeah. far. I give a full like 20 minute breakdown on tomorrow's yep. dog walk. It was actually, it was fun. How big and is I Dayton? I spoke glowingly. The school? I don't know. Idea. I believe I found this Cribs video. Let's go, oh. Lance. By somebody with the first name Brian? Yes. Yep. All right. Mm-hmm. Sweaty Brian. Oh, oh it is on YouTube? Yeah. Alice, uh, give me a t- all right, this is White Sox Dave. Welcome to my oh, crib. Copyright and, uh, music. I'll give you guys right a tour of, of my uh, two-bedroom. <laughs> Watch it with no volume. <laughs> it's probably uh, it's probably off now, right? Yeah, try to see. If I haven't it's... been in this place in of Chicago years. years. No, nope. nope. <laughs> all copyrighted music. <laughs> Brian, Brian, not. <laughs> Why is Brian putting this on his personal YouTube page? We didn't have. We a didn't YouTube have page one at the time. Then. But I, yeah, I think you make one before you put it on your own. Oh, this couch is glorious. I love that couch. I slept on that couch one time. I'm sad we can't watch this in its entirety right now. 
I really, I see a pumpkin in the corner. I really hope it was nowhere near. Oh, dude, oh, this it, is great. No, that that pumpkin is old as fuck, dude. Rotted well, out of its watch. Watch, watch, watch. Look at this thing. <laughs> <laughs> it was just sitting there. Yeah. Dust. That's fucking gross. So that's like a battle with your roommate. Be like, someone's got to throw this pumpkin out. It's <laughs> yeah. not going to be yeah. <laughs> No, I think we, we had it so long, it was like we just kept it at one point. We're like, fuck it, let's keep it. I'm not touching that piece. Oh, TV held up by the fridge. Yeah. Love yeah, that. I mean, if post-pandemic could see this, Dave, mm -hmm. <laughs> or pre-pandemic could see you now with all the stuff you're doing with your new kitchen and yeah. all that, it's a whole different man. Oh, I yeah. can't wait to see that fucking kitchen either. I love that. That's that's not even bother to tidy it up for the video. Yeah, the bed on the, <laughs> the mattress on the floor. It's just Yeah, there's the lanyards. It's an extremely underrated video. This, this is like... That's the when closest, I ran the marathon, this, this not is the brag. closest thing to Eddie's dream, which is just having a camera inside your house. Pretty much. But you just you want Dave to not know the camera's on. Yes. Yeah. Well, I don't want to see him. You doing wouldn't it. see me doing anything other than like. I don't want to see him. TV. I don't want to see him like jerking it or not. We had a. We. My, Thanks for clearing that up. A kid I went to <laughs> high school with named Mike. Hey, like I'm a, I think. That's still in your car. That bucket. I, that is still in my car. <laughs> Oh, this is downstairs, huh? It's downstairs. This is my old. It's kind of a throwback being in this place. I lived there for seven years. We had such cheap rent. Our um, our landlord. Uh, should I tell who my landlord was? Why not? Do you do you know who he was? Do you remember? Yeah, I yes. He's connected. We'll Taylor Ham, pork roll. Yeah. Connected. Yeah. What is it? he? No. You brought him one, right? Oh, maybe you did. Like, maybe. Oh. The delicacy. He was. He had the same name as the real name of Joe Pesci in Casino. Spilatro. Was, Nick. Yeah. Well, I, Jesus fucking chief. I hope this guy gets bring. He put, gave uh, it away. It was no, like the. It, so that's some that, that means you have to put effort into going in and looking it yeah. up. Now be a shame you if you said it. Be a shame if when Chief gets home, he parks that blazer and he gets <laughs> two in his head. That would be a shame. Right? Just fucking kills him. Um, I don't know I mean, what that, connected. Yeah. I think it was his nephew. I, I never asked him about it or nothing. Be pretty fucking bad. But he told us when we moved in that he will Be never, shit, ever raise the rent. He likes long-term tenants. So we were paying 1300 a month uh, total, so 650 a piece for the entire, entirety of me living in that apartment, which was a great location, not a bad place. Yeah, and KV. What's that? Granny Village. Yeah, it was, yeah I love yeah, you, Granny Village. Perfect location, yeah. and... We had such a standoff to who was going to move out of that place first because we, my old roommate just kept it for, he yeah. still lives there. He still does? does? He, really? He's lived there for like five more years. He's probably lived there 12 years now. Yeah. And he he finally upped the rent to 1500 a month. So he's got a two bed, two bath, like nice enough place for nothing. Has he done anything? Does he still have the green couch? No, he, I, I would assume he got rid of those swiftly. I fucking yeah. hope so. I would hope so too. We bought those off Craigslist for like two hundred bucks for the whole set. Yeah, <laughs> one of my favorite early White Sox Dave memories is that I can't remember what the event was, but you're like, I think it might have been a Northwestern tailgate, and Trent was in town. Yeah, and you're like, that was a White Sox game. What was it? oh yeah, it was, it was a White Sox. It was game. middle yeah. of summer. Yeah, and you're like, all right, get to my place. Everyone get to my place around eight a.m. Let's get there at eight a.m. Knocking, calling, <laughs> nothing. Trying to buzz the door, nothing. I can't remember how we got up, but you were still asleep. We walked, you were asleep on and the And I never couch. do that either. You were asleep on the on that green yeah. couch with fell asleep with a dip in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it was like Dave in his boxers, a white t shirt, and dip spit rolling down his mouth with full lip. Yeah, I had a I had a long night the night before. <laughs> yeah. It was just one of those nights. I yeah. got up, showered up, and I was in the parking lot pounding beer and within uh two shakes of a lamb still. And that's what we're doing Thursday, Ed. I have cordially invited all of my coworkers in this room, that is. I don't know if that's true. To uh, Thursday's White Sox home opener. Uh, weather's looking good, actually, like 60-ish and uh, sunny last I looked. So that'll be nice. Uh, I'm sure you guys had something salacious and insidious lined up for it to ruin my day. But no, instead, just I'm just extending an invite to all of you. So come hang out. Danny, you can bring the camera. You can film that, everything. That's how you, how you know how <laughs> low it's gotten for Dave. Yes. That he will invite us to his holiday. Because now that I'm invited this time, I will take this as a standing offer for the rest of my life. I, you, can, you can, any baseball <laughs> game you want to come to on earth. I love opening day. Come on, come on out. Yeah. We weren't invited last year, so we can. Oh no, lo that opening day. That's that's not. That's your day. Yes. Or if it's like a big playoff game or something. That that I understand. Big playoff game, I understand. Yeah, you, you got to be with your own people. Yeah. 
like, uh, you know. Like you guys pulling up last year, if it wasn't raining, there would have been hell to pay. <laughs> there would have been hell to pay. <laughs> this even year, if, you even can't. If we, even if we just sit there and enjoy baseball. Like, yeah. I like going You wouldn't be games. sitting there to enjoy baseball there. You'd be sitting there to incite anger out of me. And and the thing is, Time once out. that I anger would have been incited, you guys would have been pissed at me for getting angry. I think that all we would have had to do to incite anger out of you would be to sit there. That's it. <laughs> right? so Your it's general like we're not, presence. We're not doing anything. We're just watching a baseball game. But you were there to fuck with me. Now you can't be because I want you guys there. Uh, we are going to be tailgating in Lappy. Couple, yeah, but this is, an, this is a standing invite for future opening days. Until they're good again? Until they're good again, yeah. No. If that day. I think opening day is like a, just a holiday for everybody. So whoever I, is. Like so I would go to an stadium. opening day in Seattle. I would go. Yeah, I was living yeah. there. Yeah. I, I The stadium holds about 40,000 people. I'm guessing there's going to be about 28,000. Yeah, I think more will go than you think. I uh, I mean. Weather's not supposed to be nice. Everybody is like Dave. Yeah. No, it's supposed to be nice. No, weather's it? supposed to be nice. Oh, it is? Yeah. What was that? Oh, the Cubs is supposed to rain. for. Last I looked, day. it was uh, like 60 and sunny. 310 game? Okay. 330 or 310? something. Wait, so there's a thing? So we can't go to Cork and Kerry? Why not? Why not? Well, you just said there's like a parking lot thing we got to go to. Oh, we, I mean, we can stop at Cork for a few. All right. Sounds walk good. over to the parking lot. I always do that anyways. Millers and pulled sausages yeah. with onions. Yeah, be a talk, day. get a couple of uh, uh, buffalo chicken egg rolls because you can buy them individually at Cork, which is the greatest fucking idea of all time. Oh, you could just go by the one? Hey, let me by, get one. Yeah. Let me get one. It, it, perfect. It's perfect. It's, it's not White Sox season. It's Cork and Carry season. Yeah. yeah Pretty much real, right. Real, yeah. Say real. hi to Mike. Get a Miller Light. Walk to the parking lot. And and Turtle's great, too. Yeah. we Dude, why don't more places do that? Hmm. Like, hey, let me get one more it's mot, mot stick. Awesome. You know? Isn't it? Yeah. I don't know why. Like, Well, what do they charge for the one more? I don't know. A couple bucks, whatever it is. Nothing outrageous. Let me get. Come on. Hey. Tally, I mean, one more jalapeno yeah. popper. How, how, like, that's it. Why don't they should do that often? I don't know. Eddie gets two bowls of soup at a restaurant. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> um, wait, that's actually a good question. How early is too early for soup? In the day? Yeah. Because uh, I think soup 11. is borderline breakfast food. What's a uh, breakfast soup? Cream well, of chicken? Well, I think that's oatmeal, right? Cream of chicken soup, cream of chicken rice. No, that's not that's well, a breakfast. That's dinner soup. I don't like chicken and breakfast at all, really. In my household, that's breakfast. It has to do with what's in the soup, if anything. If you're going like chicken, vegetables, I don't know if that's very breakfasty. But does it have to have egg in it? Like what? Like I don't know what you would have. You could probably make like. A, what if you did like a bacon and potato soup? Bacon, you could do like hash brown shreds. Yeah, cream of cream of potato sausage, popular one. like right. old sausage. You could make a soup. I actually might fuck around with that. The next couple days. Well, you are the king of breakfast. Anyone can do it. It's you. I I love breakfast. I think All cream of cream of like baked potato egg? soup would be breakfast soup. Are you a Brinner guy? Brinner's good, of course. I do Brinner like. I don't like eating early in the morning, but I like breakfast foods. Yeah, I'm I'm the opposite. I will eat. I'd rather eat an uh, entire feast at like 10 a.m. than eat a large dinner. Really? Yeah. Most important meal of the day, Ed, and you're eating soup. Yeah, that's big breakfast fucking coming at you. That's Propaganda. Big, that's big OJ, just being like, ah, oh, you need us. I don't know, is it? Yeah, well, well, come on. It, you, need your, you need to start functioning well right off the bat. That's why breakfast could be the most important meal of the day. But don't they say you're, like, sharper if you don't eat? There's a, there's a fine line. There's so many things that it's, like, it's, it's hard to... What's the truth? Yeah. Yeah, where's the line? Yeah, about, like, fasting and... Yeah. Fasting works. I think, yeah. But I, I mean, think, from a sheer number on the scale point of view, it works. I, Absolutely. I also saw some woman saying that if you fast for 24 hours, like, so if you are if you eat, like, shit, like, your gut will, like, literally tear apart and you, like, leak stuff into your bloodstream that shouldn't be there. But if you fast for over 24 hours, your gut will create stem cells to, like, repair your own gut. <laughs> Who's that, Huberman? I heard that. that Might have been a Huberman. I saw Beef Loaf tweet that uh, Promiscuous doing <laughs> uh, once a week fast for 24, 36 hours. Wait, start that over. I got the, the promiscuous uh, boys playing got me. Uh, I I saw it. This is like two, three years ago. I saw Beef Loaf tweet that it's good for men's health. To, I think it was 24 to 
36 hours to do a fast once a week. And I just took that as gospel. I, I bet you there was a time in human history where getting a meal every day was not a thing. Oh, yeah. You had to hunt yeah. and gather. And, yeah. Mm -hmm. I actually take exception with what one of those guys said. So I want to bring that up. Whoa. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> <laughs> bad, bad brain? What's going on here? He's short-circuited. Beatboxing. But before we do, I want to talk about Dave and Busters. I love Dave and Busters. Busters. The chance of getting a perfect bracket is 1 in 120.2 billion. Best of luck. The rest of us, instead of uh, not watching after our bracket is busted, why not be rewarded for it, Dave? Right, Ed? Yes. This March, when you lose, you win at Dave & Buster's throughout the summer. Throughout the tournament, excuse me, we're washing away your sorrows with $2 beers. Terms and conditions apply. And anyone whose bracket has been busted can DM Dave & Buster's with a picture of their bracket across social media handles. In reward, Dave & Buster's will be giving away 1 million chips of free gameplay while supplies last. Terms and conditions apply. But hurry, all chips will be given away and must be redeemed at your local Dave & Buster's before the tournament ends. Come to Dave & Buster's for $2 beers all tournament long and DM us your bracket that's busted to Dave & Buster's for free gameplay while supplies last. Terms and conditions apply. I think I'm going to get a group of friends to go to Dave & Buster's. $2 beers? Uh, you can't beat, Couldn't beat it with price. a bat. You can't, beat, you right. can't get that at price at Dave. Biden's America right now. <laughs> <laughs> Inflation and all that. Here we go. We'll talk more about that over whack a mole. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. yeah. Perfect. Ice game of ski ball. Tell me about inflation. Dave. Seriously though. Um, yeah. um all the points are doubled. I watched your uh appearance on the one oh eight podcast about the Getz interview. Mm -hmm. They said I was trying to needle you. I don't think I try to needle you at all. I think we get I think we get lambasted unfairly a lot of times. Do you think we needle you? Not it, I don't remember the exact quote. Um, what was it? They said I was needling you during the interview. During the, I don't I don't remember that. I don't remember you needling me. I I, I, I remember you getting were. needled, but it was by Ian Happ and Justin. Yeah, Steele. no, no, no. I don't. <laughs> I would know instantly if Ed was needling me during that interview. I thought Ed had a couple of awesome little interjection follow up questions in it. Um, I don't know if if that's their perspective. No, I don't really care. I'm just kidding. Yeah, no, I, I know you do. Um, but I, I didn't think you were. I didn't think you were. Um, what else do we got? I So I, I know you guys talked about this last week, but I would assume we're going to talk more about Caleb Williams today, what about, correct? What about him and Jack Mac? Uh, that, um, his choice of uh, what he wears and all that. No, I, don't, I have no intention of talking <laughs> the floor about. Floor is yours. Yeah. No. Well, people. Are yeah. No. It's a talking point. Yeah. It's yeah. a talking yeah. point. Yeah. It doesn't matter if he w it wins games. That's it. All that matters is if he's a good quarterback or not. So it's so settled. give him that shot to be a good quarterback. If he sucks, then blast away. If not, then who gives a fuck? Yeah. If he sucks, he has to start showing up in a three piece suit. With a, yes. With a good haircut and no nails painted. The pink iPhone, like. He was holding that for someone. You think? Yeah. Okay, Williams gets chicks. What can we say? Yeah. That's our quarterback. That so wasn't his you never. You never held a woman's I'm handbag? I'm, I'm not saying. While she was putting her heel on? Singular? With the whole. Strapping it up? I, I hadn't heard him come out and say that he was holding something yet. I just thought that was his iPhone. A lot of people think it's his iPhone. I, I think it is reasonable to assume. Yes. Based on his GQ and his nails yes. and everything else that. That would be his iPhone. I didn't blink at it. You want a pink iPhone case? I don't give a shit. Is pink even a girl color anymore? Yeah, okay. It's he really not. It has a, like a woman's wallet in his hand, too. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's it's like, holding it for someone. Well, he's got keys or something. Oh, is it a clutch? Sorry, Dave. It's called a clutch. I learned that in the comments. But also, uh, our coworker Jack Mack uh, is in Twitter beef with our future quarterback. No, the beef's over. Yeah, the, Caleb yeah, killed him. Over. Jack Max dead. Are you guys? Does this make you guys um a little worried at all? Seeing how susceptible Caleb Williams is going at media person. No, I like it. I like that he's going back. If it, I want him to have a little bit of fight in him, Jack Mack in the back's going to think twice before coming at him next Fuck time. Yeah, I'll say though. And Caleb <laughs> Williams, that ah, jokes. So we're all good. Yeah, we're all good. That's. I need a better response from 
my quarterback, though. You have to, like, directly insult the profile picture. You can't just say that's crazy, you know? I mean, have you seen his profile picture? Yeah, but, like, make a joke about his hair or something. You can't just be like, your profile picture crazy. I mean, if crazy. you're like, hey, like, your whole face is fucked, that's kind of tough. But he didn't. He just said your profile picture. That's what his, his profile picture is, his face. But you could say, uh, he, no. he He got him right in the face. He punched him right in the face. That's like saying you're crazy. No, you're crazy. Now, hold on. in this clip, though, is he wearing lipstick? It does look like that a little bit, but I don't sure care. He didn't go to town nope, on like a cherry, smooching a cherry girl. smoothie. Does he have a girlfriend? He had a Seven Eleven Slurpee or a Slurpee or something of its ilk. Ring pop. I don't need to know that stuff. I'm just telling you what happened. That's he, not his. Yeah, he could come dressed up like this. Remember this kiss gif is like one. mesmerizing in a way, though. Too, it's like a whole, a big wax on, wax off thing. I overheard Eddie saying that the most offensive thing about this clip is that he was attending a women's college basketball game earlier today. Damn. Uh, and that the phone, no one, the focus shouldn't be on the phone or the lipstick or the purse or his nails or his unkept hair. Or yeah, like that. it should really be in the film room. <laughs> totally. <laughs> yeah. Totally. Yeah. That's, right. what, that's what Eddie said. The only thing I said that was more offensive was Northwestern's second round performance against UConn. Yeah. Pieces of shit. Why do you say it like that? It's not like he had money on it. They got mopped. Yeah, they got mopped. I, I went into that game expecting that. I expected it the first game, to be honest. They just had zero. They weren't healthy at all. UConn's fucking good. And you, yeah. I mean, I forgot that we saw them play a couple weeks ago against Creighton. So then they lost by like fucking 20 that game or whatever it was. That is, they didn't even really play that well. Look up their stats. I want to say they, in the first half, they were like 2 of 15 from deep. It was like UConn didn't even play that well against Northwestern. Against Northwestern, and mm. they still could have won by fifty. It, it was uh, it was it was a bloodbath, but it was a good season. If they were healthy, I do think it was a second weekend team. I really do. Well, they get a higher seed then. And yeah. yeah, they don't run into a juggernaut. Right, uh, and that's what UConn is. That's uh, that's a scary fucking good basketball team. I don't know how they lost a game this year. No, they lost uh, one of the games that we bet on. Yep, yeah. that's how. Lost to Creighton. Yeah. Lost to Creighton. They had a shit early season loss to like. They lost to Seton Hall, Creighton. Seton, that's who it was. Yeah. Hall, and they yeah. lost one more. Well, they lost conference to like. game, right? It was another conference game. You're right. It was like a 15-point loss to Seton Hall, too. Yep. You're correct, David. I forgot who the other loss was. Was it St. John's? No. It might have been. But it doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't matter. That, that team. I, like, I. So. I've seen Purdue play all all year long. That team should fucking smoke Purdue. Can I make a confession? Hmm. I'm a little basketballed out. I was basketballed out after they lost on Sunday. I was like, yeah. Why? I had a great weekend. It was, it's just so much. Last weekend of the year almost. Yeah, but Monday rolls around. It's like I like I could like anytime I would be scrolling and be like, oh, the Bulls are on. I just skip right. But like I just I, it was a little too much basketball. A little too much for me. It was more. I can't do twelve watching. hours at, for four days in a row of basketball. I can't. Oh, I I can I can I can this time of year I can yeah this is it tis the season yeah it's like saying you don't like not, fucking not, jingle not, all the it's, way it's not as good tournament. anymore yeah too much presents around Christmas this tournament hasn't been that great though Golki was been cool good. I don't no uh, uh, compared like, to other tournaments it's always there's no good. there's no, I'm looking I have a mock draft pulled up right now the top three picks are all from overseas guys and then you got the two Kentucky guards it's just like there's not as much star power. In general, in college basketball, between coaches, players, everything. Oh, it's just I, not what it, it it doesn't grab me the way that it used to. It's like uh, anonymous laundry. Yeah, but come on though, what, the people are staying. That's a result of Zach Eady still there. Yeah, that's interest. Like that's he's, contradicts he's not your by point. Choice, really? Yeah. Yeah, but that but he's still there, and he's still the most dominant person in the fucking sport. Hmm. He is. But he wouldn't be if the sport was as good as it was fifteen years ago. I don't know. It was more suited to a guy like him 15 yeah. years ago. I just mean like there would be other guys staying. Yeah. Better players staying for four years that we wouldn't think about Zach Eady that much. But he is a four-year player. No, he is. Player of the year. He's not a one and done. Yeah, but I, you, but exactly. The one and done guys used to stay for four years. That made the sport better. Like you got you got to look forward to like, oh, what's JJ going to do this? Is Reddit going to do this year? But what? that's what Edie is. 
but he's not as good as those guys. And is back, my point. Back in chief. I don't want to watch Zach Eady could disappear tomorrow. I don't care. I don't want. I never want to watch him again. I would have liked to see. I disagree with that. Carmelo. I mean, but I, you know, if Carmelo is staying for four years, that would have been very compelling. I'll so, stand on the Eady Bridge alone. You will be alone. Damn. No, I think I'm it's. I think it's interesting more than like a three point contest that the NBA has become. Yeah. No. The like show me who's the big boy that's going to step up that's going to body Edie to take down Purdue. Oh. Matt Nicholson would have been. Who's that? Purdue. North or Northwestern rather. Yeah, well, it'll probably be that guy Klingman. Yeah, Kling. He's fucking good, man. Yeah. I don't know. Northwestern's in a good spot in basketball and football right now. I do think. Oh, a lot has changed for uh, for them in the last year. Yeah, a lot has it's, changed. I mean, two years ago, I can't believe they even retained Chris Collins. Now right. they're back to back. NCAA. So what's three? Yeah, three teams is awesome. This is third team to go. To third the team, yeah, two in a row. Third, third team to go, and in football. Man, they lucked into that into that hire. So the Malisek just committed there too. Yeah, Malisek committed to Northwestern. Good for him. Uh, proud of him. Made a correct choice. Avoided all the blue bloods. Went with uh, the forty year uh, choice instead of the four year choice. Got going to have that Northwestern degree to fall back on should athletics not work. For those that don't know, Jake um, Malisek, who works with us, had to sign up for one summer course at um, a college. Chose Northwestern to make I, up for the Virginia's yeah, awful this was yesterday in the yak. Um, I didn't know that. So, did he looked it up? I was talking to him yesterday about it. It's like, it's like gender studies and and oh, be and, for him. and CRT or something. <laughs> CRT critical. Oh, okay. yeah. All right. It's yeah. like something like it's, no, it's no, something <laughs> insane. Like knowing Jake, my men's league hockey teammate, like I do, he yeah. will. Take like a fish to water, though. Mm-hmm, yeah, I mm-hmm, love those mm-hmm. classes. They're not offer any typing classes. Yeah, nice little keyboarding. Did you take a keyboarding class? I did. I did in high did. school. Yeah, it was helpful. Fastest words per minute in the class, Ed. How many? Forty? No, like a thousand. <laughs> That's good. You could be a court typewriter. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Stenographer. I wish Ooh. typewriters would still exist. Nah. They do. They're like fucking. They're expensive. In, yeah. Well, you can't you can't make a mistake. Yeah. Here's something we can talk about. I am starting a side business. You want to hear about it? Yeah. You guys want to hear about it? I'm going to start restoring cast iron pans. Oh, and, you told me about cast this. iron objects as a whole. So I got it all mapped out in my head. If anybody listening has any uh, cast iron they want to donate or get restored, <laughs> if anyone listening knows how to restore uh, any cast iron, <laughs> slide into my DMs. Um, I got it all figured out. I just need a shit ton of lye. Um, What's that? It's like a chemical that removes the rust and everything. You let it bathe in there. You know what, and then, Dave? I will bring you my cast iron. I'll restore it for you. Okay. Yeah. I'll, can I be your first customer? You can. Okay. Mm-hmm. How much you charge? Maybe for the last. Um. Well, ideally, I would like to flip them, oh, but I, I can sure. restore them as well. So, like, you know, find them at <laughs> Dave at selling pots this, this, this is a huge. I mean, they're expensive. If you if you get a cast iron skillet like a flea market for five ten bucks, you could flip it for like two hundred. A are nice they, antique. Are one. you gonna yeah, have but, them come to your house? But you can go to William Sonoma and get one for forty bucks. Or you could get one from like nineteen thirty and get it restored. Or you, in. it's or you can get one like from William. So you are gonna don't you, talk me out of this. You are gonna become. Do not talk. You're gonna become a flea market guy or an e or an eBay. What's wrong with that? Or an eBay. Guy I've already looked all over eBay and all over Craigslist. I swear to God. I'm not even kidding. And other people are onto the same get rich quick scheme as Who I did am. did you so talk to? A lot of people looking for cast irons on, on those. So sites. it's a very competitive market. It's a competitive market. So I'm going to have to boots on the ground, go hustling. No, I, I am in full support of this to the point that I will bring in a cast iron for you. I need, you know, what? Practice. I have Chief, a couple he's of. going to need uh, a secretary. <laughs> no, I, I'll, I want, uh, I'll donate my cast iron. Mm-hmm. I would like 10% of the profit if you flip it. No, well, if you're just giving it to me a story, you get it back, you pay a flat rate. What's the flat rate? I don't know yet. Okay. I haven't met, back gotten that far. Better be less than a new one from Williams. It will be. It'll be like 20 bucks. Okay. Yeah. All right. What made you want to get into this? Uh, Instagram. That's oh, so why, don't, why don't you go and just build like wilderness shelters? Because I know you watch those all the time, too. I know. That's so that's a modeling my kitchen. And obviously, Big Brother's always watching. Shout out Orwell. And... um. Being on a million different fucking like home design websites obviously yep. triggers the algorithm. Mm-hmm. 
which triggers different accounts for like home restoration things. And I stumbled upon this guy that does cast iron skillets and it's awesome. And I want to do it. Okay. I have already got a couple of uh, those big ass drums coming. I'm going to put them right on my deck. How much are those drums? Those they're cheap. They're 30 bucks a pop. Okay. So, okay. And like the go. ones in like Shrink. Breaking Bad, what they yeah. put the yeah, okay. bodies in when so they disintegrate. How much, how much is the chemical? I haven't gotten there yet. Okay, so we're in I, I need to, I'm in the process of sourcing cast iron. Okay. I feel like this. Be gonna, filled with I think you're going to end up White Sox t-shirts. You're going to end up losing money on this. <laughs> probably. I. Uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah. It's not, nothing wrong with the hobby. But it's only going to be a few hundred bucks to start it. There's nothing wrong Why with the cheap? hobby. Nothing wrong with the hobby. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe something comes of it. Maybe. Maybe. Or What's your hobby, Dave? Ed? You don't have one. I do. I like to gamble a little bit. I like to uh, go to the DraftKings app. Because, uh, the thrill and excitement of March Mania is here. And DraftKings Sportsbook, one of America's top-rated sportsbook apps, is giving new customers a shot to turn 5 bucks into $150 instantly in bonus bets with any college basketball bet, which is great. Uh, North Carolina listeners, don't forget DraftKings Sportsbook is now live in your state. Um, I saw on the DraftKings app that North Carolina – on the DraftKings app that North Carolina is minus three and a half right now against Alabama in that Sweet 16 game. Um, so something to look at mm-hmm. if you like that. Yep. Uh, download the DraftKings Sportsbook app and use code MID. Uh, new customers can bet 5 bucks and get $150 instantly in bonus bets. Only at DraftKings Sportsbook with code MID. The crown is yours. Yeah. I mean, look at baseball starts – Yep. You know, check out those lines. Yep. You gonna have you gonna have any special baseball bets this year, Ed? I don't know. I'm gonna check it out. Okay. I'm gonna check it out. I might you have to have a large bankroll to do this, but I might do the PFT method. I, well let's we'll talk about that later or something, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's do that. And I should also I wanna remind people again about this promotion going on at Dave and Buster's. Can we talk about that one more time? Two dollar yeah, beers. It's too good to not talk about again. It really, so it really nice is. you had to say it twice. It really is. Two dollar beers, Dave? You can't beat that. You cannot beat that. There's multiple Hardly selling points. Two dollar beers, arcade games. Even if you lose, you win at Dave and Buster. Send them your busted bracket. Yes, I'm all in. Terms I feel like conditions this, apply. This should be like in the date rotation too. If you start seeing somebody, oh like, yeah, let's have a day at Dave and Buster's. What's the uh, what's your go to game? I got to see what they have. I love the I love any kind of racing games though. I'm I'm locked in on that yep. chair for a while. Okay, Chief. I love Papa Shot. Keep it simple. Love Papa Shot. I like skee ball. And uh, last time I was there, they they had like a horse racing game. Oh, I Re- love those. That the game I really love that fun. game. I forgot about that Read game. It th- from like birth through the Kentucky Derby, and it's uh, you will spend hours on this thing. Last time I was there, My horse was named Giddy Upper, by the way, which was probably a decade ago or so. They had to build your own roller coaster, so you're like you're in a ball. And you, you just... I'm in. Yeah, t- like roller coaster, you typhoon. Roller coaster. You can make like oh, eight flips, like and you Quest. flip eight times. Yeah. That's sick, dude. That sick. Who needs a Raging Bull when you got Dave and Buster's? Yeah, so go to Dave and Buster's for $2 beers all tournament long, and DM your busted bracket to Dave and Buster's for free gameplay while supplies last. Terms and conditions apply. Uh, great stuff. Great Are, stuff. Do you guys um, remember Disney Quest? I don't think I ever went Vaguely. to Disney. Yeah. Is it Q-W-E-S-T? For some reason, no, I remember it's it spelled regular. Um, yeah, that was like a that was like a blip in the radar. Have you guys seen this Nickelodeon doc at all? Oh, we no. watched it. I wanted to talk about no, no, no. no. Oh, we watched. A one. There's a new one, and it's the opposite. Like <laughs> we, that was all like glowing sunshine. You haven't yeah, heard man. about this? Because no. I fully oh, wow. expected watching the one we're talking about. I forget the name of it. So, Orange ears, I believe it's the yeah, Orange yeah, ears. yeah. It's a great doc. Yeah. Well, turns out it was all bullshit. Maybe. Well, it depends what shows. This is. The, I haven't seen the new one yet, Quiet on Set, but to my understanding, it's mostly the Dan Schneider shows. He didn't produce every show at Nickelodeon. Okay. So what were the Dan Schneider shows? Uh, Drake and Josh, okay. uh, Keenan and Kelly, I think. Yeah, like iCarly. Uh, yeah, Amanda okay. Show. All right, so Little I don't after think yeah, I didn't we really were watch any of those. watching. Yeah, all yeah. that. So our childhood's still that. here. Yeah, I mean, obviously I, all that and Keenan and Kelly are our childhood, too. Keenan and Kel was like the, la- like the last one I remember. Yeah, watching. that was like I didn't really watch it, but it. I was still watching Nickelodeon. I was a big fan. Because didn't they have like a Saturday night, Saturday night Live? Yeah, all that. 
Yeah. All that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And this that's, is... I feel like Keenan Kel started on that. Yeah, they did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, you haven't seen it? No, I know what it's about, though. He's just he's a sick fuck. Which one is... Everyone's a sick fuck these days. Which one is the one that's on SNL now? Keenan. Keenan. Yeah, Keenan Thompson. Thompson. The longest running member, right? Other, Ever. Other than like an athlete, like a Tom Brady, plays until he's 45. I don't think there's another person who has worked essentially the same job their entire life. Because he was doing sketch comedy for Nickelodeon. He's like a 10-year-old, yeah. Yeah, and then went into SNL He's got to be that. fucking He obviously did 40. like the Mighty Ducks in a few movies too, but he's been doing sketch comedy literally. He's got to be life. pushing 50 now, right? 45? I feel yeah, like his whole life. Yeah. My mom's worked at Jewel her whole life. That's true. But she didn't, she didn't have the same job at Jewel her whole oh, life. Oh, it's a different thing. You know, like he's yeah. doing basically the same thing he was doing that when he was 10. And he's not really getting. Has he been getting side gigs at all in the past decade? Like he's just straight going SNL every yeah. day. Yeah, he was Fat Albert, right? Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> <laughs> that was a good Fat Albert. <laughs> I'm good at impressions. All right, give you us actually another. are sneaky. Like, give all us right, a joke. Let me put a quarter in you and uh, give me uh, butters. You choking? <laughs> he's like. Well, hi, fellas. <laughs> He's kind of like Mincy, but like. Alpha yeah, that was more right. Mincy. Mincy yeah. when he was six. Uh, Woody from Toy Story. I can't do Woody. All right, all right. He's too right. There's a He's snake too- in my boots. Yeah. Cartman. Screw you guys. I'm going home. <laughs> <laughs> that was bad. Cheese <laughs> poofs. That was uh, better. One, uh, one more? How many tokens you got left? Uh, yeah, yeah, how many, be an, how many tokens? got one more. Dave right, should be I, a new game at Dave and Buster. I got one more token. Uh, uh, the Joker. <laughs> My father was a drinker and a fiend. And one day he goes off crazier than usual. My wife didn't like that. Not one bit. Uh-oh. Good. <laughs> oh, fuck. You might be coming for Keenan's spot. Maybe. Be the new Jay Farrow. I don't know who that is, I don't think. He's like the impression guy. Is he? I don't think he's on the show anymore, though. On SNL? Yeah, this was years ago. I haven't watched an episode of SNL in... I I know you tuned in for that Sydney Sweeney one. Didn't. Saw the clips. Volume off. Yeah. You didn't watch Shane Gillis? I didn't watch... I saw the the monologue. Watched the monologue. Yeah, Yeah, I saw the monologue. Uh, I didn't watch him, though. No. Yeah, any more new... I mean, not not to switch gears into a totally different thing, but any more news on this bridge that shit was insane well we were also talking about how it was potentially a cyber attack linked to obama's movie all right there's lots of conspiracy theories yeah. out there about this now they're like oh the the captain was ukrainian who mm-hmm. knows here's one thing that i when i watch that video and, may, and i don't know how bridges work or anything like that i was surprised that the thing just collapsed that easily like I thought, I thought if you were like, "Hey, a ship's gonna run into a boat that's bolted to the sea floor," that it wouldn't make the whole bridge. Co- I thought, I thought the bridge would do damage to the boat rather than the other way around. I mean, I think it did some damage to the boat. No, but like I thought, the, the bridge would still be. And... I thought if you were gonna be like, "Who's gonna win this collision?" I'd be like, the, I'd say watching like how slow the boat's going. I'm like, oh, the. Now, the bridge is gonna win this fight. I know it can fit under the bridge. But to me, it looks like it didn't have a chance anyways. Even no, if, if you it back it up, it, like, takes a turn. Yeah, right into the pillar. Yeah. Right into the pillar. Right. Because um, like, the lights go out. It's going straight. Lights go out. It takes a right turn. It's pretty fucking tragic. Yeah. How many confirmed? Super tragic, dude. Yeah. This is about, like I said, the, well, that is a video you could wake up to. In yeah. The I, I didn't think it was. I, I'm like, is this in another world? Like, what is this a movie? I it took me a second to gather myself and realize what I was watching. Yeah. Um. I did read though that they made contact with authorities prior to crashing in it, and they did call. stop traffic to at, as much as they could have. Um, which is good. Yeah, yeah, but like you but see, like we have a death count. I heard that there were six missing. Six construction workers who were yeah. part of the May Day. They didn't know, obviously, yeah. it was going to go down. So. Yeah. But, like, that, like, you can see the, because you, know, you once you watch it, like, the second time or third time, 
you can see like cars on the bridge like speeding off and you're like holy shit Mm -hmm. holy shit holy shit and then i don't know it felt like there weren't any others on there that this reminded me of it looks like it's it's way more like cataclysmic but like that i-35 you remember that yeah yeah minneapolis where that there were like a ton of cars on that Mm -hmm. if i remember correctly that that bridge just collapsed out of nowhere what year was that 2007 that was i did not think it was that long ago that's like a common thing too people being afraid of bridges my grandma you are like she lives yeah. in a state with a billion bridges and like wouldn't go on them. she refuses mm-hmm. you're aren't you on record saying you're afraid of bridges no i'm not <laughs> well you are but regardless no you, if, if anything today's your day to justify why you're afraid of it no i don't like like some walking bridges remember the one in you're playing dumb. The Remember the New one Orleans. in yeah New Orleans? You had like a whole episode about how bridge. afraid you are of it. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a water. That's a water factor, though. That's a water bridge. Because because it's so low. Yes. Yeah. Uh, that's a isn't there? Isn't like the one to Key West like that too? Yeah. Seven mm-hmm. mile bridge. Yeah. 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 I've been on it. The water. It's also no, blows it's my not mind low, how though. people could even build. I actually watched True Lies, that the major scene in the movie yeah. on the plane back from uh, Texas last week. But yes, it is. Yeah. Seven mile bridge. Because that just, I mean, like, you could have a storm swell, and it's like, well, that bridge is gone. Yeah, see you later. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it doesn't. The seven mile? Both of them. Yeah. yeah. Seven mile one's a lot higher than the one in Louisiana. Is it? Yeah. One in Louisiana's wild. No. It's, it's like, like a street, like, level with the water. Yeah. And it's like, you guys kind of have a history of this. Maybe yeah. raise that bridge a little bit. Yeah. <sighs> They'll cross that bridge when they get there. No pun intended. But intended yeah <laughs> actually it wasn't intended until i started saying it like an indiana jones like walking bridge is fucked up too no of oh, course like a jungle yeah. bridge yeah that's crazy oh no i would never get on one of those oh i would <laughs> well you're a psychopath <laughs> oh i would no but they're like you've you've never been like hiking or somewhere where they have like bridges that kind of resemble that no oh. i haven't okay all right you never done camelback we didn't have there are no bridges on camelback no Lance, was that a difficult climb? Uh, I didn't think so. Well, yeah, multiple thank you. multiple people die on it every year. So really, yes. how, how is that yeah. possible? I mean, I, it's it's more. What do you mean, Lance? You were going, condition shit. I'm sure multiple what? people die on the fucking lakefront every year. Is that because it's like so hot? Like some? No, it's like people fall down the boulders because oh, that, that's the thing uh, okay. that we never talked about. You did the other trail last time. No, two, I didn't. I did the exact trails. same trail. I did the exact same trail. Everybody was like, one trail is easy. Then it that kind of fit I, the description that you had laid out. I to did us, the exact same trail. I remembered it all once we did it all. I did the exact same trail. The other one's like flat. It's yeah, just but that's it takes how you longer. Described it. No, I didn't describe it. I didn't. I didn't say it was flat at any point. I said it wasn't that difficult. And Lance. Yeah. No. I mean it. It was a it little was, difficult. It was, it was hard. I, I think like you would need a little bit of athleticism, but I think I would imagine a difficult hike to be a lot more difficult. Than yeah, that. so double black diamond or whatever they called it. I'm it like, is. That's wait. It's considered a double black diamond. Yes. Yes. Dave, are we just raw hiking then? Apparently. Oh, apparently. All right, I'll, t- I'll take that. Yeah, it's difficult, but not like holy shit! I can't believe I conquered that. Yeah. Yeah, it's not Everest. Yeah. I'm just it's saying. A good workout. Yeah, but it's more difficult than what you described. And I said that. Right. We're well, in agreement. But it still is not very difficult. Round and round we go. <laughs> um, anything else? I will see you guys on Thursday in the parking lot. Yeah, come out tailgate with us, Lappy. Well Yeah, Lappy. Yeah, we'll we'll be there at some point. Yeah, come hang out. Hang out. Be fun. Yeah. Be works. Yeah. All right then. Thanks everybody for listening. Thanks for watching. Uh we'll see you guys next time.